So iOS 17 developer beta 6 has been out for nearly a week as of the filming of this video and as per usual I'd like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for nearly a week. I also like to talk about the battery, any bugs, bug fixes, performance and everything else in between. So of course let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now some of the highlighted features within the latest beta that I'm enjoying the most is number one the extended wallpaper feature. So for those of you that didn't catch my initial coverage iOS 17 developer beta 6 does add a new feature so if you go to add a wallpaper and the wallpaper sort of doesn't fit your iPhone screen properly if you pinch backwards just like so you see that on the top there we get an extended option in the center here it says wallpaper extended and on the top we sort of get this machine learning technology that allows the iPhone to create this gradient slash blur to fill in the spaces where the wallpaper just doesn't look right and as you can see right there we can actually now get an extended version of the wallpaper in iOS 17 developer beta 6 thanks to this new feature one of my favorite ones within this update and now there's also some changes happening to the phone and call button now this one is a bit controversial I'm not sure where you guys stand on this one but on previous betas the end call button was placed towards the right right here where it says keypad now Apple has moved it once again where it was before to the center now I prefer it being in the center you let me know in those comments down below which position on the screen the end call button is best on the right side bottom or on the center bottom let me know in those comments down below now another great new feature that I'm enjoying within the messages application on the latest beta has got to do with this little extension right here where you can go ahead and access your photos your stickers audio location and things like that well now if you long press and release you can get access to your camera roll directly from the actual extension by just long pressing on the plus button it saves a lot of time I'm really enjoying these features within the latest beta but let's go ahead and talk about some of the bugs and bug fixes within iOS 17 developer beta 6 again the software has been out for nearly a week so I have some time to test it properly so the first thing I want to talk about is some of the current bugs that I've noticed now after placing my iPhone to charge on a MagSafe accessory for a long period of time if I don't pick up my iPhone within about 10 minutes the always on display sort of shuts down and it becomes unresponsive I'm not sure if you guys with iPhone 14 Pro Maxes have this issue but it's happening to me where the iPhone once it's placed on the MagSafe charger for a long period of time the actual lock screen or the screen becomes unresponsive I can tap multiple times and it doesn't want to work or the screen is completely blacked out again you have to have it on charge for quite some time in order for this to happen and I noticed this has become a bug within iOS 17 the latest beta another thing that I want to talk about is Wi-Fi connection now I'm not sure if you guys have experienced this but the Wi-Fi connection on my iPhone sometimes not all the time but sometimes I've noticed that it randomly disconnects on its own I'm not sure if it has to do with my Wi-Fi network here in the studio but I haven't experienced that on previous betas and it's currently happening on this betas happened about twice so that's just something that I wanted to mention if you're experiencing any bugs or any issues on your iPhone I would like to hear from you in those comments down below please let me know which iPhone you're using and what bugs have you encountered if you're running the latest beta now I want to talk about some of the bug fixes because with that Apple has also improved the software of course there's a lot of improvement in terms of performance which we'll talk about here in just a few seconds things are running pretty smooth and now the keyboard issue where sometimes the keyboard wouldn't pop up I haven't experience that bug any longer on the latest beta 6 so I know a lot of you guys continue to have keyboard issues but I haven't experienced any keyboard issues or even the text field where sometimes it wouldn't appear so I can type away and sometimes I couldn't see what I was typing I haven't encountered that issue not even once on the latest beta 6 which of course is great news and also airdrop if you go to airdrop something to another device airdrop animations look very smooth they look very nice they work as intended I don't see any hiccups any lags everything is working as it should with airdrop which I'm happy to report now that brings me over to performance in terms of performance I know you guys like to talk about performance I did a benchmark here from the previous beta beta 5 over to beta 6 and beta 5 single core score is 2647 and the single core score on the latest beta is 2646 so basically the same score for the single core score here for both betas but on the multi-core score department here's where we see some improvements on the performance we have 6869 multi-core score on beta 5 and in beta 6 
6,901. So we see a nice increase in performance from the previous beta, which I'm happy to report. And the one thing I do want to mention that finally, finally, for the first time on my iPhone 14 Pro Max running iOS 17, I no longer have to charge in between my day or throughout my day in order to finish my day with one single charge. Yeah, my iPhone 14 Pro Max, now finally I can say this, can get through my entire day comfortably with the battery that is currently on the latest beta. So iOS 17, of course, has been running somewhat good with batteries since beta 3, beta 4, and beta 5. We saw some improvement, but with beta 6, major improvements in the battery department. I've seen great improvements overall within iOS 17, and I'm happy to report that I no longer need to charge twice throughout the day in order to get through my entire day comfortably, right? So iOS 17 developer beta 6, if you were looking to venture and experiment with iOS 17 betas, which I still don't recommend, of course, there's still a lot of things that need to be worked out, and I'm sure other devices will continue to have several issues. It depends on how you use your device, what applications you're using, but in terms of battery, at least for me, I've seen improvement beta over beta, and on this last beta, beta 6 so far, the battery has been phenomenal for me on this latest beta. Yes, I've been getting through my entire day. I'm happy to report that's been very steady here, about seven to eight hours of on-screen time. Finally, I no longer have to charge throughout my day. Now, the next beta, of course, iOS 17 developer beta 7 and so on, beta 8. When can we expect the official final release? Well, if history is any indication, as we're on a weekly release schedule, we'll most likely see the next beta for registered developers on Tuesday, August, Tuesday, the 22nd or the 23rd. That's when we'll see the next developer and most likely public beta as well. Now, Apple is now on a weekly release schedule. When it comes to beta 8 after that, another week so, so the 29th or the 30th, we'll see the next beta. After that, Apple will most likely take an entire week of a break. So on the week of the 4th, we'll most likely won't see anything at all. And then on the week of the 11th, Apple is rumored to be holding an event. Apple will most likely release the RC or the release candidate on the 11th or the 12th or even the 13th of September with an official release of iOS 17 on the 18th or 19th of September. So yeah, there's always one week in between before the RC or release candidate, Apple's event most likely on the 12th, and then the official release most likely happening on the 18th or 19th of September with new iPhones, of course, right around the corner. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Finally, the one great news here is that battery is now up to par, in my opinion, with some of the iPhones iOS 16 software, which is amazing news, and I wanted to share those details with you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.